Hello, Dr. Alex, and welcome to this episode on breast cancer. This is our educational series for the Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Thank you for taking the time today to talk to us about early detection methods. Super. Can you tell me what should I do if I'm worried about breast cancer? So my advice to any patient, man or woman, is to go and see the clinician. Um, your clinician, male or female, will end up examining your breasts and deciding whether there's an area of concern. They may take a history from you and they may send you for blood, for blood tests, routine blood screening. And then depending on, in a woman, her hormonal status, if she's um, around the age of 40 or perimenopausal or very young, then various types of imaging will be granted to her to have an assessment of what's going on in the breast, further, further assessment of what's going on. What type of imaging is used to assess breast tissue? So breast imaging routinely uses mammography. Uh, we use breast ultrasound and we use breast MRI. Those are the three fairly standard studies that we use. Not everybody qualifies for getting them. Again, it depends on your age and it depends on your risk. So generally speaking, ultrasound is a sound study that allows us to use sound waves that look inside the breast. And through that, we can see if something's solid or if it's got fluid inside it. So it's very much a defining uh, imaging that we can decide whether the lump is a problem or not. The mammogram uses low x-ray doses to have an image of both breasts. It's a really super study for us to be able to look at symmetry or distortion or find any abnormality inside the breast. And then finally, there's breast MRI, theoretically the new kid on the block as such, but not routinely given to everyone because there's strict criteria as to who qualifies for it. And that uses magnetic fields and creates like a, a magnetic scan of the body so that we can get to see a beautiful image of the inside of the breast and pick up any problems if there are any. Okay. And what age should women go for breast screening and how often? Yeah, good question. That tends to differ all over the world, um, particularly here in the UAE. The Department of Health has issued national guidelines. Generally, it's a recommendation that women over the age of 40 can attend for annual or biannual studies. That means once every, once, or once every year or two years if they are of average risk. If they are intermediate or high risk, they should at least have a mammogram once a year and may qualify for additional MRI studies as well, depending on their risk factors. Okay. Clinical breast exams get involved in that mm -hmm. too. So again, it's really important that they get to see their surgeon or get to see their clinician, mm -hmm. so that at least that can be added and factored into. Okay. And if anyone watching has any further questions on breast screening, who should they contact? So Mediclinic City Hospital offers um, a screening program year round. Basically, we end up having a screening options available on a daily basis and on the weekends. Um, particularly for October, however, there's a 50% uh, reduction that's been offered by the hospital for screening mammograms. So I basically urge everyone who has not had a mammogram within the last year and is of the right age, i.e. over 40 and doesn't have a problem, to still come and see their clinician and have a discussion about a screening mammogram and they would qualify for having that 50% off. And come and meet the team. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Alex. It's been a pleasure. Mine too. Thank you.